Hey guys, welcome to, welcome to this episode of Trend Lines. Um, this is a indicator that will help you um, automatically mark your trend lines so you can see what the market is doing. Uh, this one has a lot of moving parts. So if you add it and you don't like it, you can always just go find, go to studies, find it, right click it, right click and say delete, and you can always remove it. Okay. Now, what does this thing do? The number on the top, like 21, for example, is for more of a higher time frame. If you're working on the one minutes and five minutes, you can bring it down. Or even if you go up, like for example, this is 21, uh, the length back is going. Okay, not exactly 21 candles, just saying 21 length and back. If you go like, for example, let's say 51, you'll see that it will move back on its reading. So it goes a lot farther back. And if you go smaller, let's say you drop it down to like seven, then it's going to zoom in on your front part of what is it doing. See, it just zooms in. So it's kind of like if what you, is what is it that you want to do? Um, I like using two of them, one on the higher one, like, you know, the 50s and one in the seven. So it kind of gives you the bigger and the what is it doing currently. So it's, that's how I use it. But to stay focused on this one by itself, what else does this thing do? All right, so let's say we go to 50 on it. Keep it simple. Show lines. If you turn this on, it will give you your next support and resistance. Okay. So right now, if it, if it's at ten dollars and thirty cents, it would have to break the 1160 for it to be considered a runner, and it has to drop below 930 to, for it to be considered a bearish, where it's going to break below the last low. So it kind of lets you know where is your boundaries of for it to become a runner. Okay, you can change the colors on them. You can, um, let's see, we go to pivot low and pivot high. Those are the two that are showing you the lines on there. Also, if you're ever underneath right over here, right, and you gain close to that red line, I like it. Red means stop. Don't be buying anytime below this line because most likely it's going to bounce off and fall. It's only good if it gets above that. Okay. Green is good to buy as long as it stays here because you might get the bounce to the upside. If it breaks below that, then these lines will automatically move and let you know that is this a new range and stuff. It also has pivots, which are pretty cool. Um, they're kind of grayish right now. You cannot see them. So if I say pivot dots and I turn those, say, blue so you can see them, there you got the little pivot things. Pivots are fractals. Fractals are where the market is changing. So it's kind of using those fractals to mark its next pivots. Okay, sometimes you'll, um, if you're a fractal uh, trader, that, that's what it is doing for you. Um, what is it doing back here? These guys back here, I'm trying to figure if I can move this out of the way so you can see it better. Um, these lines, there, it's a little cleaner is not one big line. It they, they separated uh the person that made this separated it to where you have your uh your support line can be for example I'll make that one purple. It's showing you that it's back here. It's not one big long line. I make it all yellow when I do it. I just keep it together. But if you want to be more of like want to figure out where you're looking at, you can change the colors and you can tell it uh, this purple one is down here for the support line and the R line is the one on top here. It's just showing you what's above it. Uh, so it's kind of like you can make the colors anything you want. For me, everything's yellow. It's easier. But everybody does think a little bit different. Oh, not that one. And then you got everything one big solid line. It kind of lets you know what the market is, is doing for you. All right, let me see if I missed anything. Pivot dots, nope. Same thing, you can always remove these things on the right-hand side to kind of get rid of all these extra colors if you don't want them. Uh, for example, pivot high, pivot low, get rid of that one. Uh, so like, let's say you got the, the two right there. You just tell that you don't want that so you can get rid of them. So now you got the other ones you got to get rid of. So if you don't want to see so many of those bubbles there, you can always just get remove them. All right, guys. So hopefully this will help you on um, this strategy.